My Christmas Love is a 2016 Hallmark film. This is directed by Jeff Fisher, written by Garrett Frawley and Brian Turner. And to be honest, there were bits of this that I liked. There were bits of this that I really just couldn't get on board with. The premise is pretty simple and I think it was relatively well executed. It's about this woman who can, as much as she is a romantic, she can never seem to find the right guy. And then out of the blue, when she goes home for the holidays, she begins to receive gifts that resemble the 12 days of Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, this mysterious stranger gave to her an actual partridge in a pear tree. And this continues. And I will say I really like how they paced this. They didn't make them all happen at once. They didn't leave giant gaps between them. Some they rushed through more than others. So that it was kind of mixed. And certain ones she never really focused too much on. She kind of received them and thought, yes, this is sweet. I'm still curious about who it is. But she didn't spend half an hour fawning over her two turtle doves or whatever. You know, I think the pacing and the focus was really well done and very effective. And the narrative itself played out well. It wasn't completely predictable. I had my guesses, I had my suspicions. I wasn't always right because my, of course, my, my suspicions changed depending on certain shifts in the focus of the narrative. So the narrative I thought was very well executed and very well done. With regards to Cynthia, our protagonist, played by Meredith Hanger, um, I thought she was quite likeable. I thought she wasn't overly sickly, sweetly romantic, but she still believed in the power of love. And I thought she kind of had a sensible head on her, but at the same time was able to buy into the Christmas magic and the magic of romance. And she had, she was balanced. She was a well-balanced, well-written, well-developed character. Very well acted, of course. Um, I have no issues with that character at all. With regards to the various potential love interests, or, you know, who we could potentially suspect was sending her the gifts. We had a mixed bag. Obviously, the classic old flame from her past was present. Um, some various other people in her life, most of whom I thought were relatively interesting. None of them I cared for that much. I wasn't rooting for anybody. I didn't think, oh, I hope it's this person. Um, I wasn't that emotionally invested in who it was, but I was curious enough to find out who it was. The Christmas aspect of it is definitely there, and that sounds like I'm stating the obvious, but there are some Hallmark Christmas films where they're really spreading Christmas thinly. Not that many. Usually Hallmark Christmas films go the opposite way, and they do it in abundance. Here I'd say it's a kind of middle ground. There's Christmas in this. You can tell it's a Christmas film, but it's not as Christmassy as some of their films. This could be set... Well, I was going to say it could be set at any time of the year, but I guess since it's about the 12 days of Christmas, that's not so much the case. What I mean is, if you freeze-framed a particular frame in this, more often than not, it may not be set in December. But generally speaking, it does have a, a nice Christmassy warmth to it. The only thing that I really didn't like was Janet. The character of Janet really bothered me. And there's nothing wrong with the way she was acted. She's played by Megan Park. Um... And I don't think there's anything wrong with the way the character was written. She was very consistent. Um, she knew her personality, the character. You know, I never felt like the character was underdeveloped or that she wasn't um, true to her beliefs or that her actions were unrealistic. I just didn't like her as a person. So that kind of bugged me a bit. But not so much that I didn't get on board with the film or didn't enjoy watching it. Would I recommend My Christmas Love? Yes, if you're a Hallmark film, fan, Hallmark film fan, there are some Hallmark films that I would recommend to anybody, even if you don't care for Hallmark, if you've never seen a Hallmark film. This one, I feel like you're only going to like if you've already emotionally invested in Hallmark Christmas films. So if you've never seen a Hallmark Christmas film before, it's not the first one I'd recommend. I don't think it's a good example of your average Hallmark Christmas film. But if you like Hallmark and you know what you're getting yourself in for, I'd say My Christmas Love is probably worth watching.